Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Katie Kid Vlogger. Today I have a special guest, his name is Mark Kistler, and he'll be showing us how to draw a koala in a tree. Mark Kistler is a famous artist, some of your parents may know him as Commander Mark, from Imagination Station and Secret City on PBS during the late 80s and early 90s. I'm really excited about this because I love art and I, lo and I love to draw. And I also got to ask him a few questions ahead of time that he'll be answering throughout the video. So let's get drawing. Well, hello. We are live from Northwest Houston, Texas. Today, we're going to do our drawing lesson. We are, uh, you know how I've been doing for uh, oh, over 70 days now, 20 minute, our 2020 dream quest goal of drawing every day getting exercise every day and giving ourselves 20% grace and humor. No stress about it. If you miss a day, don't worry. Stress is on the bus. Beep, beep. See that? Stress is on the bus. Uh, we don't have to worry about it. And I had a really interesting invitation, a fun invitation from Mr. Mike. He told me I was working out uh, doing some um, uh, promotion uh, for my summer art camps with Kids Directory. Now, uh, Kids Directory is a Houston-based family resource guide and i've been uh promoting my summer art camps through with those guys uh at the kids directory for uh, goodness gracious i've been promoting my summer camps through them for at least 12 years maybe 15 years and i was telling mike how you know uh with the all the school cancellations and the concern uh for the uh, for the summer that i wanted to make sure that i let everybody know that every class and every session of all my summer camps, no matter where it is in the country, I'm going to be webcasting just like I'm doing now. But uh, during the summer camps, it'll be webcast via my website, uh, which is a private virtual classroom. Um, all these today. Now, what I'm doing now is we're doing these live on uh, um, both YouTube and Facebook every day at 12 o'clock. And... I'll try doing the evening one still at six o'clock, but this is what we're doing. We're doing these for all the kids. There's, there's about a million kids now that are uh, out of school, staying home during this, during this uh, challenging time. And so, uh, I want to give every every child, every family, a little uh, uh, little reprieve, a little respite from the uh, real world and just escape into our imagination and joyful drawing creativity. Okay, so every day free at noon. I'll try to do it seven days a week as long as this crisis lasts. Um, every day at noon uh, on YouTube, my YouTube channel, and on Facebook. So I hope you join us. Okay, I would I would love to have you. I want to introduce our little blogger now. Mike's daughter has a uh, blog on the Kids Directory website. The Kids Directory is that Houston-based family resource magazine. And isn't she just just a genius? They're just a sparkly genius. She's got her little uh, emoji, emoji, emoji up here. There's Katie, kid vlogger. And then uh, Katie, do you want to say hi? Hi, Sky. How are you? That Sky right there on the text box. There she is right there. Thank you for being there. Now, Sky loves to draw, and I am going to draw because I love to draw too. And Sky, Sky had some questions for me. You want to go ahead and send me a text in the question. And I'm going to start drawing here. We're going to draw a, a koala bear in a tree. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I have, I'm looking at two different uh, cameras. So I'm going to draw the tree about right here. And then I'm going to have the koala bear uh, popping out of the tree. Okay. So I'm going to have a koala bear about right here. So I'm, I'm drawing kind of light. This is going to be a big, big bushy uh, clump of leaves. Then I'm going to draw this, this big koala bear up here. There's his face, and then there's uh, the. This is overlapping now. See, we're going to overlap it. Now, I'm going to uh, text down. Now, Sky is going to be texting me some questions, and her first question that she in the pre pre talk before we went live tonight was, "What age did I start to draw?" And Sky, I started drawing. Well, according to my mom, my mother, God bless her, uh, the when um. When I was very now, look, okay. To see, I gotta concentrate on these ears. If you make the ears uh, too big, they look they look like Mickey koala. That's why we use an eraser, you guys. That's why we use an eraser so we don't have to 
go too crazy. I just want to put put two ears up here, not too big, just the two two ears. We're gonna have a little koala bear here, and then I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the koala bear's nose coming down here, and I'm gonna draw hit the koala bear's eyes. I'm gonna draw one eye here and one eye here. Now the the uh, the learning point of the koala is all the texture that we're going to draw. We're going to draw lots of fur. Put a little reflection in his nose. So I'm going to zoom in on my on my uh, on my Facebook. I have to remember that's Facebook, and this is YouTube. I can't believe I'm going YouTube live. This is so cool. All right, so take your uh, take. Let's take our pencil and let's go ahead and. Uh, Darken in that nose, and we're going to add questions. Now, according to my mom, I started learning to draw. I started drawing when I was three years old, sitting in the high chair back in the old days. Back to, this is over fifty years ago when I was a baby. Um, we used to uh, we had um, we had high chairs. Nowadays, they you, you guys you you kids when you were growing up. The chairs clamped to the side of the dining room table, so you're able to sit and be part of the family. Well, sitting in the high chair, I used to draw pictures in the peanut butter and the applesauce and the mashed potatoes. I would, uh, I would draw, I would just draw the, these pictures. I'm going to put furry fur around the ears of the koala bear. I love the fur. I love adding texture. She also said that she, one time when I was in uh, preschool, before kindergarten, she, she, I was sitting in the, on the kitchen floors in the morning, real early, like 6 in the morning, and she came in the kitchen, and I was sitting in the kitchen with a jar of peanut butter, and I was drawing on all over the floor with my toothbrush. That's another wonderful mom story. Isn't that, isn't that cool? So uh, uh, anyhow... Well, thank you uh, for your comments. Uh, remember, this is a, a special vlog for uh, Katie Kid Vlogger. This is a special vlog for Sky for her vlog. And we're doing a little drawing lesson because she loves to draw and I love to draw. This is overlapping. See, we did a light, light sketch. We did a light sketch here. And... The, then I look at this is overlapping. Overlapping is one of these 12 Renaissance word. And Kurt just said that uh, he read my book and he was a big influence when he was a kid. Well, thank you, Kurt. That was on YouTube. Thank you. And Love Fine says, oh, what fun nostalgia. You know what, Sky, you know what they're talking about. These folks used to watch me on TV on PBS when I was the Commander Mark. Look at I was so young. I'm, that was 19 years old. Then, then this this series right here, Imagination Station, was uh, back in the 90s on PBS. It was very very fun. So it's a lot of those folks are remembering that. And they well, but I use the same words I'm still using today. I'm using overlapping this line up here. Then I'm going to tuck this line underneath. And so uh, basically, to answer your question, Sky, is I started drawing when I was three years old. Now, her other question was, when did I start drawing? Uh, oh, yeah. Well, thank you, Sky. Yeah, I, I used to draw in the peanut butter and the applesauce, and my mom was there. You know, another thing my mom let me do, my mom was a huge influence. That was one of your questions. Besides all of my art teachers, my mother, see what I'm doing? I'm shading. I'm having the light. I'm having the sun come from the top right. And so I'm going to be shading a lot while I talk. Uh, my mom let my brother and I draw these wonderful, super, super uh, secret uh, cities, these super cloud cities on our walls. We were, she let us draw these big, wonderful murals. And that was inspired by my art teacher in elementary school. And that went on to be my tough television show called The Secret City. Back in 1985, it all started from my art teacher in elementary school and my mom letting us draw these secret cities on um, on our wall when we were kids. Isn't that wonderful? Now, I used to tell, I told kids on my TV show, I said, oh, yeah, yeah, draw murals on your wall. Draw, yeah. I got, this is before email. This is back when we had to get snail mail. 
see i'm putting i'm putting texture for the fur for the tree here guys i'm putting texture that's called texture someone type in the word texture so <laughs> I told peep kids on the Secret City TV show on public television, I said, yeah, draw murals, blah, blah, blah. Well, I forgot to say, be sure to get your parents' permission, right? little clarification there. And so what happened was we got, we received so many, thank you for writing texture on the screen. We received so many letters from parents asking me why, what was I thinking, telling the kids, to draw on the wall and they were much harsher than that i'm i'm, I'm making it I'm, I'm i'm putting a filter on it so uh i'm not, what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna encourage you all you kids watching since a lot of these webcasts now right now what we're doing is we're doing a lot of these as our as our kids specials for all you kids at home i hope that you tune in every day at noon <clears throat> we're doing a little later one again today for our special guest artist sky or vlogger uh but every day at noon on facebook and youtube for all the kids staying at home during this this uh during this crisis i want you guys to take a break every day and draw and doodle with me have a moment of break from from uh all the anxiety and just chill relax have some fun and draw with me and we'll draw as a family we'll we'll all get through this together six feet apart but we'll get through it together and that's what's so fun about this this technology we can just hang out together via the webcast isn't this fun i'm loving it all right well now sky so she asked uh how the how old was i when i started to draw okay three and then when did uh, what was my uh, greatest influences what well, was my art teachers in uh, elementary school would be bruce mcintyre and in junior high school and my high school art teacher which was mr goddard and in junior college was Miss Simpson, and in uh, San Diego State University was Miss uh, Miss Terrell. Well, but there's a bunch of them, but I remember Miss Terrell. So, uh, just uh, are the teachers, teachers, teachers had a huge, huge impact on me, and uh, that's why it's so it just tickles me and pleases me so when you folks uh, remember watching me when you're growing up. You remember me teaching how to draw on public television. That fills me with such uh, validation and joy. So thank you. Now let's do something else here. Well, watch this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put. Now just check this out. I think you're gonna like this. I'm gonna put a, a background behind this guy. I think you're gonna like this. I'm gonna put a background. I'm gonna have the. I want the koala bear to really stand out. So I'm gonna take my pencil. Now I'm using a HB, a nine millimeter lead, an HB. It's a PS209. It's a wonderful mechanical pencil. And you can use any, really, any kind of pencil. You can use uh, tiny golf pencils, which I use all the time when I do go to my comic book conventions and my guest uh, appearances at Comic Cons. I, uh, we use those little golf pencils for the audience. Um, so this is just a neat little way to make that stand out. Well, this guy had another question. Um, she said, what are some of my favorite things to draw? Well, let me tell you every, every Tuesday I have, I have this, this program, I have this website and it's, uh, it's called draw3d.com. And if you folks have a chance, you want to do some free lessons. It's really cool. Check it out. It, it's a family subscription, but there are a bunch of free lessons on here. Now, every Tuesday, every Tuesday, I do something called a turbo Tuesday, which is an hour a really intensive drawing okay so oh, for all of my members of draw 3d and so and these are a good example of some of my favorite things to draw i love to draw fish i love and i'd love you know pencil rockets i love to draw furry creators uh, this this is an example of of a turbo tuesday let me kind of pull the camera back my favorite things to draw are these these full hours on tuesday aren't they cool look i'm showing the facebook group that Kind of neat. You can see it right there. Uh, let me show. I love penguins. I love drawing penguins. So I, I kind of put them into our, our uh, Turbo Tuesday. Let me zoom that in just a little bit more. There you go. You can kind of see that. Um, I love drawing gorillas. I love drawing. Ooh, I love flowers. I love drawing flowers. So this is one of my Turbo Tuesday flower collection. Of course, I'm a huge fan of M.C. Escher. 
So I, uh, I did, I love steps and anything related to steps, kind of an MC Escher kind of, he's one of my favorite artists, him and, uh, Michelle Gagné, the guy who created Lilo and Stitch and the books, Odd Numbers and Freaky Floral. I love, uh, uh, archways. I look at my little characters in the window there. Isn't that fun? Little marshmallow guys. So these are just some fun, uh, Turbo Tuesdays where we spend, oh, look at this. I love any anything with a bunch of holes and windows and doors and pipes and tubes. So that's that that I do that on um, every Tuesday. It's really cool, and I usually feature all my favorite drawings. So I hope that answers your questions about my favorite drawings. Basically, I just love to draw. So you guys give me a challenge, and we'll have fun drawing it. So thanks for checking that out. Uh, now, Sky, I'm going to make sure that uh, I, I'm hoping that you guys make it to my summer camp, and I'm going to give you this drawing. And again, if you, if for all of you, your vloggers here in Houston who are in my summer camp, over, over, uh, uh, just hundreds and hundreds of you, you campers every summer, it's just wonderful. I'm in uh, several locations uh, in Houston, in Sugarland, and in Spring, Texas, and uh, also in uh, Port, uh, Portland, Oregon, and I'm uh, in uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Fort Wayne, Indiana. For all the all you folks who have uh, signed up for summer camp, don't you stress at all. I'm going to make sure that this summer, this is my first summer. I'm going to make sure that every lesson, every session is webcast live for uh, for you guys. It's going to be webcast on my website, markester.com, and on a jigsaw platform, so it'll be nice and secure. You guys, uh, just the just the kids in the class will be making comments and be able to see each other drawing. So there's my uh, my uh, website right there. There's my Instagram. Follow me on YouTube. Uh, uh, you can watch my shows on Amazon Prime. I have a lot of shows and also my my stuff on Draw 3D. Okay. So if you guys are signed up for my summer now, if you want to get more information about the summer camp, uh, different locations, you can, anywhere in the world, you guys can sign up for my summer camps because now. We're not tied down to a zip code. Anybody anywhere in the world could take my summer camps uh, because every class, every session, every hour will be webcast via my website on uh, Jigsaw platform. It's going to be awesome. So I hope you consider that. <clears throat> I hope you like our drawing there. Katie, I want to thank you for inviting me to be a guest on your vlog and do a little drawing for you. That was really cool, and thank you for your patience and my clumsiness in trying to figure out this technology. But we did. We drew a little koala bear in a tree. Isn't that just adorable? All right, guys. Dream it, draw it, do it. Draw all every day, and I will see you at noon every day. Okay, you kids? You join me and draw. All right. Well, thank you, guys. Thank you, Katie. Bye, everybody. Bye, thanks for watching, and thank you, Mark Kistler, for taking your time to do this video with us. Hopefully, we can do this again another time. So, thanks for watching, and keep on drawing. Bye!